Hi friends, I have missed you, I've missed filming. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm Maxine, I make self-care content. And if you're a Jenny subscriber, hey girl, how you doing? Thank you so much for coming back. I genuinely think that I have year-end fatigue. It's been a very long year for me. And I guess December was supposed to be the month that I'm supposed to chill. But I was like trying to dedicate December to like just posting a bunch of content. And yeah, no, hey. It, it 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 was not gonna work it was mm, that's a damn shame though. i don't know how long this video is going to be but i really 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 need to pamper myself i just really 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 need to take some time off to do a proper self-care routine so let's get started on the self-care routine girl Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So no one else can make you do That's why I'm honest in my life with you I want to please you in any way I can I want to share my world, don't you understand? Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Leave no one else, you're all I need. Personality, everything you do, it's me love, everything about you. skin feels so so smooth before i do anything like body face wise i'm just going to lotion my body up with this vanilla I just put that on my lip. <laughs> vanilla body lotion from nivea it's quickly become one of my favorite scents since it's like it smells it smells like vanilla it's very lightly scented it's not like very very rich and very warm vanilla like for example the lentheric vanilla body lotion it's lighter but it's also moisturizing i actually just generally like to use like vanilla um not it's not vanilla uh vaseline or nivea after shaving my braids are still really wet but i love how clean my scalp feels right now i don't usually oil it right away i let my hair air dry a little bit so i let it air dry a little bit before i start putting in the products that i want to i don't like to blow dry my hair i will blow dry my braids time to time if they are still wet after a long time they didn't get very wet in the shower that's why i do the whole like sectioning i do the whole four sections thing before i got out of the shower i actually washed my face again um for the rest of your shower your face will kind of be pretty dry um and especially if you are doing all the other things that i just did obviously on a normal day um i wouldn't take that long in the shower so i had to just rinse it again i'm going to tone 
my face. This is the Click Skincare brand. So I've got the Rooibos toner. I use this on days after I've worn like makeup or if I just feel like I really need to clean my skin. Otherwise, I actually don't use this that much. I didn't use toner for a long time in my skincare journey because my beef with toner, even though it does a good job at cleaning the rest of the dirt on your face after you wash your face, really dries my skin out and I, have, I already have dry skin. I will tone maybe once a week. I think I've actually talked about this before that I don't do much with my skincare anymore. Honestly, I'm good with washing my face, doing a mask, steaming my face here and there as well, doing like little treatments. So I get these Curate face um, sheet masks from Dischem. Oh, this hair is still really wet. This one is the avocado one. I really, really love these sheet masks. Uh, maybe you might have seen in the haul that, what was that, maybe like a few months ago I did the Dischem shop with me. And in that video, I showed you a bunch of the sheet masks, so you should check that out. Is it here or here? Yeah, so this one is the avocado one. It claims to be a lifting mask. What I really, really love about this, this is Korean skincare. You know Korean skincare goes crazy. What I really love about these sheet masks is they're super affordable. They're 25 rand. In fact, when I first started buying them, maybe was it 2018, 2019? I, I believe they used to be 15 rand, but they've gone up to 25, which is like, I mean, it's a 10 rand difference. The problem with that, though, is that I just can't buy as many at, at a time as I used to, meaning that I'll be able to buy four for 100, but I used to buy four for 60. So, you know, there's that 40 rand difference. They've got like a bunch of sheet masks. They've got the snail gel one, which actually that one was crazy. Like there was a time when I was suffering from really, really dry skin. I think I was on some medication that made my skin really, really, really dry. Like my lips were dry and cracking. My palms were like peeling. And I used that snail gel mask on my face. You guys don't even understand. I was moisturized. I, wore, I did that um, on New Year's Eve just before I went out. Just before I went to the party, before the pandemic though. So yeah, I really like these sheet masks. Y'all hear my nephew. He wants to speak so bad, but he doesn't know any words. It's the cutest thing. Have you guys on TikTok, if you're on TikTok, or maybe you've seen it on YouTube, or maybe you have one, have you guys seen those machines that create sheet masks? So like you can literally make a sheet mask out of anything. I like putting my sheet masks in the fridge because just before I use them, because I love how cold they are on my skin. Let's put the serum on here as well. Look at how hydrating and moisturizing that is. I don't know if you can see that, but this stuff is amazing. This stuff is really, really good. All right, so let me read what this sheet mask is all about. Obviously, I can't read Korean. Avocado is called butter in the forest. It protects dry skin from being damaged. The mask contains avocado extract that has rich moisture it contains more than 25 kinds of nutrients including amino acids and vitamins and gives rich moisture to the skin that's avocado extract and then hyaluronic acid helps promote the skin's vitality and makes the, makes the skin clean and moist and also I've noticed also with skin elasticity and then also um, oriental beauty fruits nuplex this ingredient provides skin oil and moisture balance. So I'm just gonna chill now, just gonna chill for 15 minutes while I have this mask on. And then I'll get back to y'all. The serum, you guys look at that glow. Would you, would you just look at that? What? And then I just kind of spread the remaining serums or oils or whatever on my face. It is doing the damn thing, okay? Okay? I have no idea where my nail clipper is. My skin feels so good. I didn't even bother moisturizing after this. Maybe after a few, maybe after like maybe 30 minutes, I'll moisturize my skin. But as for now, girl, she good. She, she she's, she's all right. I'm going to clip my nails and my toenails, but let me actually start with my toenails. The girls are not looking good. I'm not even gonna show you how they look. On most days, I would show you. Oh, I did clip my toenails not so long ago. I 
I never ever thought Billie Eilish would get to that point of like making music like that. I've never ever 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 been a Billie Eilish stan. I think the only song that I liked of hers was... Oh, well actually it does make sense because now I'm thinking of like songs like Ocean Eyes and stuff. I liked Ocean Eyes. I really liked uh, Bitches Broken Hearts. I loved that song. I think maybe I'm thinking of her super weird cult-like music videos um, with the ones that made me think maybe I shouldn't be listening to this girl as a Christian. Cause nah, that was weird. But actually a lot of celebrities have had that phase. I really hated that shit. Like it really made me just not even want to listen to them. You know, anyway, whatever. I do sometimes try to separate the artist from the music or separate the art the visual aspect of it from the music and just try to enjoy the music i'm gonna remove all my nail polish on my toes and my fingers and then i'm gonna repaint my toes and i don't think i'm gonna repaint my nails I, I, i'm getting my nails done this week so why is it that this generation has like turned calling people insecure into an insult a lot of us are insecure about a lot of things maybe it's not ourselves some people are insecure about themselves some people are insecure about parts of their body some people are insecure about parts of their personality their background and their upbringing um, why have people turned oh you're insecure into an insult very particularly in relationships if you live by twitter standards you will just not have a good life there are certain things that like people on twitter say or Instagram or whatever. I love Pinterest because it's such a peaceful app. But TikTok, Twitter, pin, um, tw TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. People will make you feel bad for being insecure. Isn't being insecure a normal, regular human emotion? We all feel insecure sometimes. We all feel insecure here and there. We might be feel, we might feel insecure around certain people or in our relationships or in our friendships, or in our families, specifically in relationships. Let's say um, somebody is not okay with their partner um, following and liking um, pictures of naked girls or half-naked girls. Then people on Twitter, TikTok would be like, oh, you're so insecure. Bitch, no, it does not make you insecure to not want to accept those things. It does not make you insecure to not want to tolerate those things. And um, even if you are insecure in your relationship where you feel weird if your partner follows certain people or likes certain things, you're very much allowed to feel that way. You are allowed. You, If you are insecure, you are allowed to be insecure. Why vilify? being insecure why is it an insult i don't get it and also i don't like being on twitter a lot of times because a lot of you all be tweeting bullshit like a lot of you guys tweet so much bullshit and stupid shit that you don't even live by and you hear a lot of pick me girls saying that oh um i don't have to wear heavy makeup i don't have to always do my nails and my hair and do wear these cute outfits because i'm not insecure what do you hear yourself when you say these things? Like, do you actually hear yourself? How do you see that and think, oh, you're insecure? I actually made a video at the beginning of this year, and now, to, to an extent, I feel like taking that video down. Okay, so I'm gonna put this um, nail, nail enamel, whatever that is. I'm just gonna put this on my fingers just to like cover them up. But what was I saying? Yeah, so I made that video, I was like, oh, how to glow up and stop being basic. I know that the title, now that I'm looking at it, such after such a long time of it being up, I'm like, yeah, now I look like I was shaming people who want to be basic. But if that's what you want, and I, and I think I do remember saying that if you're okay with being simple, you're, that's completely fine. But it doesn't mean that I look down on anybody who doesn't want to do those things. So this is what they look like. It just basically looks like clear lip gloss, not lip gloss, it looks like basically clear nail polish but it's not it is it is clear but it's not necessarily colorless all right and then i'm gonna do bright pink on my toes like i always do i always do either pink purple or white and i'll show you what it looks like after it's 
So I don't usually do too much to my hair. I'm just gonna start by uh, moisturizing my scalp with this hair food. It's the ORS olive oil hair food. My brother, he just comes and he just takes my hair products. And then I'm like trying to do my hair in the evening. And then at the time I didn't know that he was taking my stuff. So I would just find my things scattered or just, oh, I think I should just get him a bunch of hair products and tell him to leave mine alone. Oops, my video is about to go up in like 20 minutes. I have not even made a thumbnail. That's a shop with me video. What's the time? It's gonna go up in 10 minutes actually. I should change it to 4 p.m. instead of 2. They have nice sets, gift sets and clicks every year anyway. Somebody on TikTok got an amazing gift set with a bunch of also heavenly products. And you know what, to each their own, right? But this person, I just feel like if you get such a gift, why are you gonna go on TikTok and bash the gift like and do you expect the person who gave you the gift to not see that so they went and then they opened the gift the gift bag and it was gang also have any products you guys she was just like ah oh, why do people think that we want these products and then the the audio was even like no 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 if you don't like the products if you don't like the gift that somebody got you why would you go on tiktok and trash the gift and people in the comments i think she thought that people were gonna agree with her people in the comments were like you are so ungrateful okay so i've set the video to 4 p.m so we don't have to worry after this i'm gonna go and have some lunch i can sit and chill and make that thumbnail now that that's done i don't know what you guys do i don't know what the order is supposed to be i'm also not great at hair care i just do whatever is good what i feel is good for my hair and what makes my hair soft and thick and helps it grow so i'm going to be using these two products so this is the black chic avocado oil moisturizer and then this is the blm black like me naturals leave-in conditioner and i love this stuff i love how it smells um and it's super like it makes my hair really soft so i really like that i do not buy aunt jackie's products anymore even though aunt jackie is really really used to make my hair so so soft like you know with our natural personally i have 4c hair not 4c 4b 4a no it's just 4c so my hair is very very coily very coarse so yeah my hair gets super dry and it's very low porosity as well my hair gets super dry so i really need products that will really make my hair really soft and jackie's products do that the leave-in conditioner the conditioner but I just don't buy on jackets anymore. I think I'm gonna start with the leave-in conditioner. And what I do is I just kind of like, firstly put that on my scalp, massage that into my scalp. But I just try to make sure that I get my whole scalp, including the perimeter of my scalp. And then I just like massage it into my strands. Just, you know, softly, not too much. Gonna use the moisturizer because it's a little more oily and it's a little more creamy as well and i'll just basically do the same thing and i won't really bother putting too much on my scalp but i'll just make sure to get that in the strands done with the hair i already moisturized my skin obviously but i i'm gonna put on some clothes so let's find what scents i'm gonna be wearing today okay so this area is a little messy today but I'm just gonna choose what scents I want to wear today. I would usually go for Love Blooms, but I don't want to do that to say. I guess I could use Sweet Love by Body Ecology. And so I have this room mist that I sprayed in here. And the back says that you can also use it as a body mist. I don't know if I wanna do that. Maybe I might spray this on my clothes. It's an amazing, amazing scent. This is the White Rose and White Blossoms room mist. I'm so tempted to go to my sister's room to spray some of her things. I think I'm just only gonna spray Sweet Love today and then I'll probably mix it with like a proper perfume when I actually put on my clothes. I don't know, I might go out today. My friend is not feeling well, so I wanna go visit, but yeah, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. For watching my self care routine. I've had so much fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give.